Many of you have been frustrated with non-customizable characters, knowing that we only have very few number of 3D character creators, just like Linka, part of the 3D creators that we can customize in terms of changing her outfit and her skin tone. But what if we want to work with non-customizable characters? I've seen many users are not utilizing those characters just because they are non-customizable. So your only focus is just on the 3D creators, and that really limits the way how you create videos and how to have a lot of variations of characters. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can open up a lot of doors for opportunities to start using other characters than the 3D creators. And I'm going to show you how to work around with some of the limitation in the software and to try to push it to its limit to try and have some different characters that you can work with in your videos. Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Ali and in this video, I'm going to show you how to change some of the existing 3D or 2D characters clothing colors to make them look different. This example would really work well if you're having multiple characters in your scenes and say one of those characters is being used in multiple places in your video and you want to have your character look a little bit different where, you know, it looks like the character has made changes or change the clothing, uh, then you have the option to change their clothing color to kind of make them look a little different. So the clothes are gonna be the same, although they are non-customizable, but we're going to work around that to change their clothing color to make them look a little bit different so that you can use them in different variations of your scenes and engage with your audience. And before we dive deeper into this, as always, I got an example that I'm gonna share with you. Let's watch it and come back to start creating. I hope you enjoyed watching the example. Now let's discover the possibilities and show you how we can easily change their clothing colors to be able to use those characters in a lot of your videos. So the first thing we're gonna do is we'll start with this 2D character. And in order to start changing the clothing color, all we gotta do is simply go to the effects and components tab and then scroll under the effects tab, scroll to the bottom until we see the color replace effect. This is going to be the effect that we're going to use to change her clothing color. And just so you know that the effect is not limited to characters, basically you can change anything. So you can change uh, shapes, you can change media files because it's a color replace. So it allows you to change or replace colors with your desired colors. And so I'm gonna start with this 2D character and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag the effect and drop it onto the character. The first thing we'll notice is that they're under the adjustment panel on the right side. It's going to say a note about the effect and how it works. So it says, note, this is a hue rotation filter and it doesn't work well with dark or light colors. So keep that in mind as you work with uh, characters or trying to replace colors of your elements or assets in your scenes that this effect is not going to work perfectly fine, but you're going to try your best to make changes to achieve what you want. And so in order to make changes, all we're gonna do is simply click on add color to replace, and this will show us the settings that we can play with. So the first thing we see is the old color. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the color settings and use the color picker to pick up the existing color from her top suit right there. So I'm gonna click on that and then I'm gonna choose this over here. And now I've picked up the color tone that I wanna change next. 
we're going to go to where it says new color and this would be my desired color so let's say i want to change it from this green to possibly blue i'm going to go over here to where blue is at you can see it starts to make changes but it's not blue yet right which is fine so all we're going to do is once we've chosen the color over here you can notice that it starts to make some changes and make it look like blue um, so i can go back to the previous panel and then make adjustments as far as tolerance saturation and the brightness now one thing that i want to highlight about using this effect is that i don't want you to exaggerate with settings especially with tolerance saturation or brightness because this is going to start messing around with the entire character's body and you will notice that if i go too far it's going to like let's say for example if i play with the saturation right there you'll notice that it starts to make um you know to mess around with the character you might end up with a a color on the background of the character you might end up with a change of a uh, character's skin tone as well so you really want to try and avoid exaggerating with settings as far as tolerance saturation and uh, brightness so let's just keep uh, making changes here to the uh, tolerance something like this and all you want to do is cautiously play with it until you see the color is covering the entire um, cloth right where it's basically enough to cover the clothing over there and then you can play with the saturation like I said to make it more saturated and you know if you want to make it more brighter or darker it's really up to you but this is how it looks like it's still not perfect though so we're going to try to make adjustment to the tolerance until we have it perfect but you can start to notice that you know there's a bit of a problem with the skin on her hands right or arms so again you want to be careful while making adjustments to this so that would be the first thing say i want to change the bottom part as well so all i'm going to do is simply click on where it says add color to replace so the effect allows you to change multiple uh, colors of the uh, same asset or character that you're working with but i don't suggest adding as many color replace options because this will start messing up with your media file and so you want to try and minimize it so again our goal is to try to make our characters look a little different so that we can use them in a lot of our scenes so for this one i'm going to open up the color settings and use the color picker and i'm going to choose the bottom color right there which is purple and i'll change that from here to a pink color over there like this and you can see it starts to make changes i can still play with the tolerance like i said to make sure it's covering the whole thing but again i don't want to go crazy because as you can see when i go crazy it starts to change the whole thing look at that right it starts to change the uh, top as well so we don't want to go crazy with it but really just uh, enough to cover just the bottom part like this and then when we're done this is how it looks like so let me show you what it looks at before this is before and this is after so you can see how amazing this effect is except that you want to be uh, careful while working with it and one other tip that i'd like to share with you because this effect is so heavy i recommend that you use this at the end of your project so let's say you have completed designing or creating your project this is where you can go back and make modifications to your existing characters to change their clothing colors because if you do this as you keep editing or building your video you may incur with a lot of uh, performance issues of create studio and up to avoid doing that i highly recommend that you keep this effect to the last part after you completed designing your video Next, I'm going to show you how to do this with the teacher 3D character right here. So I'll do the same thing where I'm going to grab the color replace and drop it onto the character. And I'm going to change a couple of things. So the only thing I can change is the top, the jacket and the shirt. I can't do this with the pants because it's got a very dark color, which is black. So now I have the adjustment panel opened up. I'm simply going to click on add color to replace. And the first color or the old color would be her jacket so i'm going to pick up from the yellow jacket right there and then i'll change that to something else let's say i want to go with green right here and you can start seeing that it's making adjustment but the color the colors are not totally um covering the entire jacket so all we're going to do is to pick up the rest of the jacket color to is to adjust the tolerance so go further until we see that it's fully covered and now we're quite happy next we're going to try and change the uh, shirt color as well so what i'm going to do is i'll click on add color to replace i'll use the color picker again to choose the uh, blue color from the shirt right there and i'll change this to yellow instead so we're going to go the new color 
and then I'm going to do yellow over here like this. But again, you can see it's not fully uh, colored. So all we're going to do is go back again to our settings and play with tolerance just enough to see it covering the entire shirt. And until you know, then then we are good to go. So this is how the character looks like after the change. You can see that it's definitely looking different. And you know, and you can use those characters in a lot of your scenes in different places to engage with your audience. So this is how the character looks like before the change. And this is how she looked like after the change. Let's do this to the last character that we have there. I'm going to drag the color replace and drop it under that one. And for this one, all I can change is just the jacket. I can't do this for the shirt over here and the bottom as well, because this one is dark and that one is very light. So I'm only going to change the jacket color. So I'm going to add color to replace. I'll use the old color reference as this one right here. And then I'm going to go to the new color and open that up. And let's say I want to change this to a darker green right there. And it's pretty good. So I can just make a few changes to the tolerance, just a tad bit right there to make sure it's covering. But if you go crazy, you can start seeing that it starts to change the uh, lip color as well. So let me go and do that now. Here is what happens. So it's going to start messing up with uh, the rest of the character. Like I said, you really want to want to be careful. So you really want to be careful while adjusting your characters. And this is how easy you can change some of the char existing characters clothing colors. Now I'm going to show you a list of the characters that I tested until now. So you can see these are the guys that I've uh, used. Um, so we have the teacher, we have Susan. Let's go into that group and show you. Uh, this is Mike. So we're going to go into the effects tab and turn this off. So the original uh, shirt is blue and then I turned it into red. Now we have the YouTuber guy. So go to effects and turn this off. Original shirt is sky blue and then I turned this into orange. Let's go to grandpa over there and go to the effects tab, turn this off. So his original color was uh, kind of like blue ish. And if we turn this on now, I oops, uh, turn this on. I turn it into purple. Going on to grandma, I changed the top and bottom. So I'm going to go to the effects, turn this off and you can see this is how it looks like. So the top is yellow and the bottom is pinkish. Then I'm going to turn this on. Now I changed it to purple and blue the freelancer guy so open the effects tab turn this off now you can see his shirt is, was blue and then i turned it into red so this is how amazing and it can be used to change you know or make your characters look uh, different so that you can use them in a lot of your creation one more tip that i'd like to share with you in this video is how to change colors of other assets on your studio. So if we go to the 3D shapes that we have here, so we currently have a slender on the right side and a pyramid on the left side. Where can you find those? You can go back to your, uh, open up your studio and then click on shapes and then you can open up the drop down menu. And your, the first one is 3D shapes. So this is where you can find all the 3D shapes. And they're not many, but these are beautiful. And let's say if you want to use those shapes in your videos, but you want to make them look different or you want to try to change their color. Well, you can easily do that by doing the same thing, going back to the effects and components tab under the effects, you're going to scroll down and drag the color replace onto the pyramid. And I'll do the same for the slender and let's adjust um, each one. So for this one, the slender, I'll click on add color to replace and I'll pick up the orange color from the shape over here and I'll try to change this one to, let's say, green. So there you go. You can see it's not green yet, but that's fine. We're going to go back to the tolerance and then make adjustments. And here we go. We now changed it to green. See, this is purely magic. And I love the ability of, you know, working around the software to try and push it to its limits to achieve what I wanted. Now let's go back to the pyramid and go to the effects tab, open up the effect and add color to replace. And then we're going to pick up from the orange color on the shape. And from there, we can use the new color. And for this one, let's make it uh, sky blue like this. Again, it turns it to red. No problem. We're going to go back to the previous panel and make adjustments to the tolerance right there. And there you go. Now we have a sky blue. So see, this is how amazing Create Studio is that even though it, it seems limited, but you really need to dive deeper into 
discovering its true value and possibilities. So I don't want you focused on the negative side or the limitation of the software, but try to open up your mind to the possibilities and what you can really achieve with the software when you can spend time and invest in your skills to try and make the best out of Create Studio. So I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Me